How you doing, folks? Papa Joe here. Grab my notes. I uh, just got back to our yard here in Oklahoma and uh, dropped my trailer, did my paperwork. We got a safety meeting in the morning on a Sunday morning. We're doing my paperwork for my next trip. I already got it set up. Got Jake in my Facebook and whatnot. That group that I tell you about, studying the word. Somebody, and I didn't look to see who it was. Hold on a second, sinuses. All right, I'm back. Uh, somebody in there had uh, posted a video. And it wasn't one of mine. And uh, it's called Beyond Today, is the name of the outfit, Preparing for Christ's Return. And uh, they're discussing what's called the Great Disappointment. Back in October of 1844, they thought Jesus was returning. And. Uh, what they're doing is beyond today group. Dead gum, you don't send nowhere. What they're doing is they're going through and giving you clues out of the Bible on uh, stuff that must happen before Jesus can return. Uh, they quoted Matthew 24, 7 through 8 and Matthew 24, 21 through 22. And uh, I would suggest, it's a YouTube video, I would suggest that you all check it out. I liked it, so it's on the like list here of Simple Living with Papa Joe. Go to my like videos, you'll find it. I've only watched the first half of it, because we have terrible Wi-Fi here. I don't have that good of a signal and it kept having to do its thing, which just runs my bill up. With this YouTube channel, I got a big enough internet bill. But I've watched, watched the first half and I've been very impressed with it. They uh, are basically saying a lot, well, they're saying what I've been saying to a degree, only they go a lot farther. I've told you all along, told anybody that's interested in listening, it's not for us to know when he's coming back, folks. Jesus plainly told us. He said he didn't even know. I imagine he knows now, but uh, at that time he didn't know. Uh, only Father knew. All through time, people would just swear on their lives that they was living through end times. I've told you that before. Uh, you got going on about the uh, the plague that hit Europe. I forget if it was France or where it was. I wanted to say France, but don't quote me on that. And don't no trolls get on here quoting me on that. Uh, but he was saying that he could very easily imagine they thought that they was living in end times. Because, you know, end times, it's supposed to be the worst times the world's ever seen. Uh, plagues all around the country. Uh, uh, people starving to death. Uh, just, just talk about nations fighting nations. World War One, World War Two. I bet there was a bunch of them thought that. And in 18 October 1844, there's a whole bunch of people that was waiting on Jesus. He didn't show up. So, uh, so my whole thing is, is I know there's a lot of people that like to quote and tell me and tell others that man, we're living in end times. Look at today. And 
I've told all of them, you don't know that. Only God knows that. All you can do is guess. So, my uh, suggestion to anybody, including myself, is live your life for God. Because it can come in a blink of an eye. He told us that. Are we living in end times? I don't know. Is stuff pretty screwed up? Yeah. We're not literally nation against nation. We ain't far from it. You know, uh, we don't have worldwide hunger and starvation. We ain't real far from it. I know you don't believe that because your ice box and cupboards are full. We're not that far from it. I can see it happening quickly. One of the uh, horsemen that gets set down in Revelation, the thing is a, a penny for a, whatever, it's a measurement count, I forget what it says. But basically what that translates into is it's a day's labor for enough food to barely make a meal for a family small family at that from my understanding so uh, it can get bad it can get real bad and that's why I have told people in the past to stock away some food some beans and rice and whatnot although we're told to not plan for it not worry about it whatnot because if you're a Christian and you believe in God and you're relying on God he's supposed to give us all of our needs just how I understand it so uh, I guess the good Lord thinks that if you're stocking food up you're not trusting him to supply you your needs interesting thought ain't it being I'm a squirrel or a prepper that's kind of puts me in a position, don't it? Well, like I told Dwight, as much as I'm gone, chances are I'm going to be out here in this truck and I ain't got much but my regular food in here. So, whenever he comes, they say don't turn around and go back to the house for nothing. Don't look back for your wife, your husband, your spouse, whoever. Don't look back for you youngins. Don't look back. He says, come on. You better come on. Well, so there you go. I just wanted to throw that in the mix. So uh, all of you that are quite certain that we are in the end times and all that, go check out the video. It's called uh, Beyond Today. Yeah, Beyond Today, Preparing for Christ's uh, Return. It's about a 30-minute video. Hey, remember, God loves you. So do I. He's coming back for you. I can't. Y'all have a blessed evening now. Go watch the video. Good night.